Hello everyone, today we'll continue learning Python and today we will create a random password generator. But the main idea of our password generator is that we will use client server architecture and every user will receive a unique password. So let's start. First of all, if you don't know Socket library, you should look up some information on the net because they are kind of low-level API and you'd better use Twisted for your apps, so Twisted framework but uh, or another framework, but today I'll use Socket. What I will do, I will create class server and I'll create dev initialize method. So when our server is created, dev initialize is called and I'll create self.socket equals socket.socket. .socket. I don't want to inherit from Socket socket because mm, I just don't want to okay so dot socket equals socket socket so socket it's our module and then dot socket it's a class class of socket you you can see here class socket and what we need to provide in parentheses first of all we need to provide an address family so what address family will be used it can be IPv4 or IPv6 address family I'll use IPv4 so socket module and AF inet just uh, IPv4, so standard IP, and then uh, we should provide protocols. So socket. Um, UDP or TCP are widely used nowadays, but if you want user, your user to receive any packet of your data, you should use TCP because UDP just sends data and forget about it, but TCP wants data to be mm, received by client or by server. Okay, socket. Um, soc stream, and now we created our self. Socket in our server. And self.socket uses af init address family and uses soc stream. Okay, now we need to bind our socket to a specific address. So self.socket.bind. And we should provide here not just values, but tuple. So list, which is not mutable or which cannot be changed. So first of all, we need to provide um, an address. Okay, and we should provide localhost for now because um, localhost it's our own computer. And when we Right, localhost, we run our server or our program only on our computer and no one from the web or from other device cannot see it. And then we should provide port. You don't need to provide, uh, for example, port with number 1, 2, 3 or even 80 because many programs are already using the, uh, these ports. So as far as I know, 80 is, um, is an Apache web server port, <laughs> standard Apache web server port. And I will use port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, not to ruin my applications which are already running on my computer. And you should do something like this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is never used, I think, until you have some special software on your computer. So then self.socket and listen. Okay, uh, self.socket.listen allows our server to listen to incoming connections and to accept connections. You can provide nothing in parentheses, but I will provide, for example, Two. So two clients can be in a row. For example, if our server is stuck, two clients can be in a row and will not be disconnected. So then def um, listen, I'll create a new function called not listen by, for example, but for example, accept sockets. Okay, so socket dot listen here. Yeah, and then in the function define accept sockets, what we'll do? We'll accept our sockets. It's obvious. Or let's call it client and then address and self.socket.accept so self.socket.accept it's a method in socket class which um, accept an incoming connection and in our case it returns a tuple and we unpack a tuple to be client and address we won't use address so i can write underscore but if you want to use your address you can write address but today we'll only interact with client because I don't think that we will need an address. Client and client dot. Uh, let's create set of clients. So self dot clients equals. Okay, for now we'll create a list of clients, but then I'll explain why another data structure in Python is better for our clients. But now we'll use list. So self dot clients dot append client. What we need to do now? Now we need to create a serving function for that specific client and let's do this define mm, listen client of course like that and we will provide client in our 
uh, parentheses or in our arguments of our function. So while true, what we will do? We will client dot receive. So we receive data, of course data. And in parentheses, you should provide the size of one packet. Um, not actually the size of one packet, but you can th think of it as the size of one packet. So I will provide 2048. Okay, but all data will be received at the end. We will simply not print, but let's... What I want to do here? I want our client to write the length of its password. And what we will do? So length of password, try uh, length equals integer from data. And why try? Because if, for example, our client writes um, hello instead of the size of um, its password, int from data will um, raise an exception. And we don't want our server to crash because of one client. What I will do? Accept value error. So if our um, data is not an integer or can be converted to an integer, we will accept value error. And here we will write client dot send. We will send some information for our client client.send or you know I actually want to create a function for sending information by now I'll create pass in accept value error so define send message self and mm, message and where so client okay and what we need to do client dot send uh, message dot encode utf8 so what i do in send the message client it's our socket and when our socket uh, so when send message is called we send so client.send some information it's our message and encode it to be bytes because tcp ip cannot interact with for example strings or so they only write bytes and receive bytes and because of that we need to encode our string to be bytes and the good addition for our send message function it's to make sure that our client is a socket and our message is a string because if our client for example it's an integer we will do something like one dot send and it's mm, it won't work at all so if mm, is instance it's a function which uh, which returns true if a argument is an instance of b argument or returns false if a argument it's not an instance of b argument and that's easy okay and what we will do First of all, client equals socket.socket. .socket. So if our client is a socket, we will send some information. Or we can do something like if not, then raise exception. Client must be so now we making sure that our client is a socket and our message is an int, a string. Okay, now we can fault send message uh, just not to bother us and if our so if client send not the length of password but something wrong what we will do self.send message first of all message mm, send appropriate i don't appropriate appropriate um length and let's length uh, as an integer so send appropriate length as an integer and then what we need to do is provide our client so we send send appropriate length as an integer message to our client and that's easy and if uh, length so if uh, client send for example um, five symbols in his password what we need to do um, we need to first of all create list of our passwords so self dot passwords equals list and then what we need to do is from string import a c letter so what is a ski or a c i don't know how it's pronounced letters it's a big string of every letter in on a c library so we can see here a c lowercase plus a c uppercase or a ski i don't know and as you can see a c lowercase it's a string of uh, alphabet of lowercase letters and a c uppercase is a string of alphabet of uppercase letters and that's easy okay we want um, 
do this just for now. Close that document. From string import the C letters. That's easy. And from random import choice. Not choice, but let's write sample. So what is um, sample? Sample it's a function which returns uh, from random module. Yeah, chooses k unique random elements from a population sequence or set. And what we will do? Sample. And we will provide uh, first of all self dot passwords and then length of our um, password. And that's all, actually. What I will do now? Mm, I will go to my listen client and when he send his data, what I want to do is self dot um, passwords not self passwords but sample first of all provide as key letters not passwords i was wrong with that example so we choose random uh, we choose random random chars from as key letters and we choose whens number of chars so uh, and that will give us a password so let's rule password equals sample and we can go here and we will see that sample mm, returns 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 a new list containing elements from the population but we want it to be string and what i'll do string from list that's easy or uh, it returns list and i was wrong here we can do something like this um, dot join so join is a function which uh, is called for string and for example if i will provide comma here or i don't know dot it will create a list uh, so it will create a string and every value of a list will be separated with uh, that dot or comma or whatever you want to write here but i will leave an empty string and every value of uh, sample escalator length will be just a string of random numbers or words or escalators and that's easy okay so now we can print password just to show you Print password and now what I want to do self dot passwords dot append password and of course uh, as I said in the beginning we want every password to be unique and to do this I want I will do something like this if password in self dot passwords if password not in self dot password so if we don't have our passwords in our self dot passwords array or list, we will um, append our password in our self.passwords and then we'll self. Um, send message. Of course, we created a function password and client. Uh, so, client, it's our client. Okay, but there is an error. If our password will be, um, will not be unique, so if our password is in self.passwords, we will do nothing. And that's wrong because every client should, uh, re should receive a response from our server. And what I want to do here is while password or not, yes, while password in self passwords, I will just copy that line while password in self passwords, password equals, um, and we will just create a new password from our SQ letters. And that's easy. And every password will be unique. So while password in self passwords, uh, we create new password from sample as keywords and so on. Okay, self.passwords.append and self.message. So, uh, self.passwords.append will always append unique password and that's easy. Now everything works fine, but we need to call listen client here. So, client. And now I think everything works fine. So we send the message, we receive data. Yeah, everything works fine. And now let's write our client. So I created client here, I will import socket library, then I will create class client, it will not inherit from anything, so define initialize self, and what we need to do here is self.socket, we will just copy code, but copying code it's wrong, uh, if you want to improve your password generator, you can create class for example socket, your own socket class, or your own super for example class, and super class will uh, have self.socket, self.socket bint, so it will have an address and everything will work fine. 
but for now I don't want to do anything and I'll just copy the code, but again, it's bad if you do it in production or for your portfolio. But in that case, it won't matter. So I'll connect cell.socket.connect localhost 12345 and we should remove cell.socket.listen and then I'll create new function go send information or let's call it main loop. While true, what we need to do? self socket.send send and we will send some information to our server and that information will be in input so input and I will provide as an argument of input uh, something like write length of your password okay and then what we need to do is encode our input to be bytes because input function itself returns a bare string and we want we want it to be bytes, so encode UTF-8. And now, once we send our password, we need to receive um, our new password. So new password equals self dot socket dot receive um, the same number, so 1048 as we did it in listen client and new password. And we should decode our password because oh yeah, and that's a bug. So when our data is received, we want our data to be decoded because we receive bytes again and we should decode it to be string. So again, UTF-8, the same encoding as we used it in our send method. method. And here we should decode it as well. So UTF-8. Okay, and now our new password is a string. And let's print your new password is and Let's write new password. That's easy. Okay, and now I think everything works fine. So let's test our server. I will run my main. Oh, of course, we should uh, start our server. So I'll go uh, below our server class in main.py or in server.py. You code your. So, and I'll create if name equals equals main. So that means that our main.py file is ran from our terminal. So it's code with command py or python. It doesn't matter, py main.py. Not imported to another python file. And now what we need to do here is server. So server equals server and server dot. Uh, what we need to do is accept sockets. Okay. and. Just to show you, I'll write, for example, print here and server is listening. Okay, and the same thing we should do in client. So main if name equals equals main, then we, what we do? Client, um, it's a client. So client equals client capitalized. We created an object and then client dot main loop that's easy okay now let's start our server first and then i'll run my client so um, write length of your password and let's write 10 your new password is mkr so new password of 10 so let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 everything works fine and as you can see in server we uh, wrote our password and in quiet we received it. So let's go here and let's write another password. So 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And the thing is, every password will be unique, but we work in Python. And Python itself is a very slow language. So when we run our client or our server, everything in Python, we translate that code, Python code, to a byte code. And then byte code is sent to yeah to C language because we work in C Python. So to C language and C language executes all the commands or on our computer. And because of that translation, Python is a very slow language. And the main problem here is that passwords and clients are unique. And we're making our server very slow because of that line and that line. So appending and in commands are very slow commands. Because password in self.passwords um, will run through every password in our self.passwords list. So that command is very slow. And self.passwords append is slow as well. Because append function, what it does mm, in C language, 
it creates a new array with length plus, plus one. So uh, append function creates new array, the whole new array with just length plus one to append our password. And then what it does, it copies every single value. And imagine that our password password uh, or self.passwords passwords list will contain 1 million or 10 million password. That's a lot. And because of that, what I want to do, I want to change clients because clients are unique as well to set in Python code. So set is a very fast data structure in Python and uh, set values are unique ones. And self.clients.add, uh, self itself does not have a append method, but it's just called add. And then in set.passwords.append, again, add. And every value in a set is a unique one. And because of that, password in self.passwords is a very fast command. And self.passwords.add as well is very fast because we add only unique values. So we generate a new password if it's not a unique one, and then we do while password in self.passwords and we just append unique values to our passwords. And because of that, everything works very, very, very fine and very fast. But, but now we won't see any uh, changes because we interact with very small numbers. So set function was made specifically for unique values. And because of that, it's better to use set. But when your self.password will contain 10 million or 20 million passwords in it, you will see big differences in time of execution of your code. And because of that, it's better to use set. So I think we are fine, we created, or let's, um, what I want to do now, I want to write inappropriate password length. For example, as I said, what if we write hello? Your new password is send appropriate length as int. What we will do here is, um, we just will remove your new password is because uh, I don't know, we can do something like if uh, and in main if our new password equals equals send appropriate length, then what we need to do is uh, print print um, print our new password only and we'll continue. And because of the continue, our while true will um, go to the next iteration and we'll just send new password and we will see only send appropriate length as in. We won't see your new password is. Good luck!